Greetings and salutations, this is Rigs and Tales. Um, now we're starting chapter 10. Hugh's just recently taken a pounding from Deathstroke, Noelle's been stabbed in the stomach, and I'm expecting a lot of kind of cringeworthy drama now. Okay, no music. Nothing to interact with. No one sat by my bed to make sure I'm not dead. Oh, no, nope, here comes a cutscene. And she's probably hugging me. That wasn't the swing. It was like in a gut. It was so low down. Did you do like an upwards frost? So, oh, that's through the intestines into the lungs. Ooh, that would include the stomach as well. Ooh, horrible way to die. All right. After another cutscene, there. Um... Oh, wait, what? Current chapter. Chapter ten is risk. Oh, I thought Rex tells went up to um. 15 chapters, maybe that's a new one. So, is that it for Eggs and Tails? Um, hello to you too. Stop! Fire enough. Oh, that seems to be a uh, loop I had there. Oh, I can't escape the top! <laughs> Okay, am I at the end of Rings and Tales? I don't know. I think there's going to be, um... Well, I, I think I'm going to try and do a few wrap up a few of the side quests. Like, go farm some demon fangs, go see why Wa La La Luigi was in the, um... Little cat cave. Okay. Well, there we go. Wow, that's weird. It was not letting me out of that conversation check. Deadpool in the house, anyone? We didn't officially join the party. So, I'm going to run around like a headless chicken for a little bit, and I'll catch up with you in just a minute. Okay, I'm back at the valley, and we have Waluigi here. Uh, maybe I should use my book to actually organise my party. Uh, who should I bring along for this? Ooh, she's actually in the party as a full member now. Excellent. Where's Luigi? There we go. And Dr. Oh, should go. from. I'm actually honestly interested in helping him um, find a few things. Oh, the chests are going to be empty. I don't think there's actually going to be anything in here, but it might be a good way to get those demon fangs I'm missing. So, another cut, and I'll come back when I've got the demon fangs. We're going to do the piccolo fight next. Alright, it's finally time for our piccolo showdown. I've got 35 demon fangs. What? Alright, fair enough. Do I equip the Jade card and be utterly broken? 
No, I'm gonna do it properly. Alrighty then. Um, increase my own attack. See how hard you can hit me. You can finally do damage to me again! Well done! All I can think of is this like... This is this has to be like... Radix level... Um, Piccolo. This, otherwise I'd just be having a fist through my chest and dead. Alright, let's go with... Brush Strike. It's not going to be a challenge. Not unless he pulls out something that does, like, over a thousand damage all at once. It would be quite interesting if there was a slight difference in the Deathstroke fight between, um... De De Deathstroke's response if you'd already undergone the final training from Piccolo. as a part of the mental training regarding it. Or, uh, there were some conversation pieces between Piccolo and you after the Death Strike fight. Again, it's more work to do though, and I can understand with a game with this size. Um, it would be just one of those little niggly things that you might put on a list to do once the whole thing is complete. Masenko. Namix. <laughs> Namix Soul. Okay. Let's have a look at our new toys then. So we have Piccolo card. Yeah, it's not amazing. It's not terrible. So let's see what we think. Dynamic soul. Power to gain a soul break. Oops. Sorry, I accidentally brought the settings up there. Resist earth attacks. Oh, I lose 90 defense. Uh, not worth it. Where was the other thing he handed over? Here we go. Don't go on. Wow, that's immensely weak! Well, compared to the arc weapons. Let's have a look compared to the normal weapons. Alright, normal weapons in the game, it seems to be the most powerful thing you can get other than Sinclair. But for funsies, we're going to equip these, and we're going to go out in the world and punch some things in the face. So, I'll be right back when we can try out our new goodies. Okay, I'm back, and the first thing I'm going to do... Oh, this is has all the it's energy attacks. So, first thing I'm going to do is try and soul break, but I'm just going to look at the um, various different types of attacks. So, I get the Demon Rush, I get... Um, Senko, Skull Cracker. Stunning Blow is nice. Demon Cracker. Sounds like stunning everybody. So, not bad. No special beam cannon. Ho <laughs> ho Alright, this. Wait. That was a soul break. That didn't actually cost me any SP. Let's try a school cracker. Brandy's on the first level enemies, so uh, so those are quite interesting. 
a slight bug there, the soul break thing didn't actually cost me any SP. However, I don't think it does reduce my defense considerably. So, as um, long term uh, equipment goes, it probably would just stay in the box, unless I really had a reason to just need to throw out just so much attacking power. So, we've currently got Wario wandering around the Defer region. Oops, no, wrong one. Sort of running on automatic here. Okay, off I go. So where would Wario be? Is he even around? Well, I'm going to have a look. I'm going to nest for first. Who knows, he might be here. But I'll catch you in a moment if I find him. If I don't, I will inform you. There's going to be a lot of running around and I suspect it's going to take a while. Okay, I am back. Unfortunately, I've been unable to find Wario. The area is pretty damn huge, so uh, I definitely know there's some places I haven't checked out properly yet. He could be working in there, but for now, I think this is probably the end of Rakes and Tails version 2.11. As fan games go, it's been a pleasure to play. Well, apart from a few obvious points where I kind of lost it a bit. As I've said at the time, that's very much my at the moment response. In the end, I've often, when something's frustrated me, I've often looked back and gone, ah, I understand the design element there. I've kind of got a very, um, how to explain it? low anger threshold when it comes to computer games. It's sort of one of my main ways of venting frustration, so it's very easy for me to kind of like get angry. I don't really do it with online games because I get too self-conscious, but when I'm playing single player games like this, I'm like, this boss is not cheap. Ah! You know, sort of rage. But yeah, as I said, when I go back and review what I've done, sometimes I cringe at my own comments and, you know, everything's had a reasonably good reason behind it. I can't honestly think of anything off the top of my head that's really soured any of the experiences. The only thing I'd possibly change thinking about it right now um, in terms of actual storyline or uh, events would be the ver one of the very first uh, super, well, super bosses you get, or the ultra bosses. Um, you're talking to a party member and a cutscene kicks in and it seems like Canon, is how you pronounce his name. Um, the fight there, that one I remember really annoyed me and it's one of the few things that does niggle at me still. What it should do is automatically put him into your party for that fight and use it as an introduction to um, Ultra Bosses. Because I felt I was very cheaply um, denied that one. But yes, uh, other f I'm really looking forward to version 3. I mean, it's cleared up the menu system, which is currently rather clunky. Um, from what I've seen, he's planning on, uh, Dark Q's planning on having uh, a lot more of the weapons be uh, usable amongst the party. So, uh, Dark Q's... So, Q is not the only one who seems to have the massive um, spike in attack. It's apparently going to be a bit more balanced between magic and physical attacking. Um, a few more party members thrown into the mix. I still stand by my statement I feel it should be a bit more like um, Sukadun where mostly party members don't actually add to your physical fighting party but instead grant you abilities around the guild. Uh, I definitely think that might be a way to go just to limit the balance issues and, um, and just the fatigue of having to go through the shop. When it comes to upgrading your party the shop becomes a real chore because of this huge amount of party members you have. I'd definitely love to see more detective mode or similar things for Q because really Q is a detective at heart. He's a kid who's very good at like um, spotting inconsistencies and thinking things out and sort of using him as a major warrior or all the fighting whilst it is a plot point of him being initially weak and having to build up to it. Um, I feel like it's you could have done that with just a generic character rather than Q himself. So having a bit more of Q's own specialty and him referencing things of his own world and his own series, as that tends that sort of occurred right at the start of the game but very very few uh, mentions by the end of the game would be uh, very nice. 
I can't think of any characters. Well, I don't ever want to play with Daffy again. Daffy was a nightmare. But uh, with the new battle system that's in version 3, uh, I would wonder if he's going to be much better now, or if he'll just get a little bit more confusing. There's so many layers in this game, especially with like, the plot. The plot's relatively good. I can't understand why the bad guys are trying to destroy the world at the moment, but it seems like they're trying to destroy the world so they can build a new one aspect rather than we're destroying everything for giggles. There seems to be a re actual solid reason for behind their thought patterns. Um, perhaps more cameos of actual video game locations. I mean, I, that might be an issue. Uh, again, it all comes down to uh, actual personal preference and, and, and design by Dark Q. I mean, I can understand why, why he's not slapped the Mushroom Kingdom in there as one of the uh, like locations you can visit. Uh, though it's mentioned, but it feels like it's, it's Rikazan, I'm, the region bit I'm in, just like a series of, uh, like an island, just one section or a continent in this uh, world, or um, is it the whole world entirely, at which point then you start getting things like where the hell's the Mushroom Kingdom? It's not quite uh, clear with just how much is actually canon and how much is just few knowing relevant chunks. But uh, for now, I'm going to be uh, leaving Rex and Tails for a while. I'll eventually get around to doing version 3. I think I'm going to leave it so I can focus on some other videos, which I've got a quite a large backlog of small games I really want to try. And Rick's Intel's is a very good series to get into, but it does take up quite a bit of time, and I don't know if, well, I think I'll probably have to start from the beginning again. With part of me's like, oh, I don't mind doing that, the other part of me's like, ugh, I'm going from the start again, it's going to be a bit painful, I might try a different party composition, uh, I'll try to avoid falling into the trap of just using DMG all the time. Mostly because there's a lot of the early games changed, and uh, I think there was something about transferring your saves over. That would be nice, but again, I don't know how much of the game it would break, how much of the save it would break, and I don't want to inadvertently cause errors. However, if anyone's planning on doing a run of version 3, I'd love for someone to put uh, a link in the comments. I'm quite happy to cross link my fellow, fellow uh, Rigs and Tails players. And thank you for watching. I'll try to think of a bit more feedback as well. I mean, just right now, I'm quite satisfied with the game, and I think there might be a few elements here and there I haven't mocked up and haven't found and would like to do a bit on. And finally, thank you for Dark Cube for actually um, asking if I wanted to play the game. That was quite flattering, and it's been a fun ride. I mean, I do like uh, fan get made games. I just love the work that goes into them. I've played terrible ones, I've played really good ones, I've played mediocre ones. <laughs> but each of them is an experience in itself. And even though I'm not a huge fan of this kind of um, combat system, I used to play a lot of it as a young kid and it just drove me up the wall. Uh, as I've gotten older, I've actually got a lot less patience when it comes to video games. I can't just sit and grind. But uh, so I've sort of appreciated like the occasional little bug, like the Jake card, which has just made things so much easier. I, I don't, again by f using the ultra weapons, I feel like I haven't actually played the game properly. Like I've basically played the game with cheats. But uh, it's, it's one I was take it or leave it. I'll catch you guys next video, and we'll see what series I run into next.